In this video, a particle is moving with constant acceleration. Initially, it is moving with velocity 12, 3 meters per second, and after 15 seconds, it is moving with a velocity 8, minus 5 meters per second. Find its acceleration. So, so that. Okay, now we don't know the displacement. We know the initial velocity is 12, 3. We know uh, it's after 15 seconds, and we know the final velocity is 8 minus 5. And what do we want to find? We want to find the acceleration. So we want the equation that doesn't have s in it, and so that would be equation number 1. So v is equal to u plus at. So that would be 8 minus 5. You can uh, put it into i's and j's component form if you like. Uh, it's really up to you. U is 12.3. And A is what we want to find, but we don't know T. Okay, So how can I write down A? So I could write its components as uh, X and Y. For example, I'm not using X and Y. So X and Y times by T, which is 15. OK, so what I can do is if I subtract the 12, 3 from both sides, then 8 take away 12 is minus 4, minus 5 take away 3 is minus 8, oh, is equal to 15 lots of xy, so I'll keep the uh, 15 outside I think. And then I can divide both sides by 15. So minus 4 fifteenths minus 8 fifteenths is equal to xy, which is the acceleration. OK? So you can uh, write the acceleration as a vector like this in order to find unknowns, or I could have written it as just a in both cases. So I could have left it alone. Okay, there are several ways of really writing your answer down. But there is the acceleration. If the question had asked us to find the magnitude of the acceleration, then we would have had to have um, uh, found, drawn this out as a vector and then found the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So it would be minus 4 fifteenths, minus 8 fifteenths metres per second per second for the acceleration. OK? But as I said, if you wanted to find the magnitude, then you would have to think about drawing out uh, minus 4 fifteenths, minus 8 fifteenths. So something like that. OK? So we've got uh, 4 fifteenths, 8 fifteenths, and then using Pythagoras, so 4 fifteenths squared plus 8 fifteenths squared square rooted, and you get 0 0.596. So the magnitude of A in this case is 0 0.596 meters per second per second to 3 sig fig. But the question doesn't ask for that, but that is how you would calculate it.